So um, I'd love to talk about uh, Tom Sobel. Tom uh, was my professor in graduate school when I was getting my principal's certification. Um, Tom had been the state education commissioner for New York State uh, and was a mentor to, my goodness, hundreds of administrators uh, over the years. And um, what was so wonderful about Tom was that uh, he made you want to be better. He made you want to be the person that he saw you as. And um, when he would write on your papers, he would leave comments and you know, he would end papers with statements like, you know, you'd write about something you wanted to do or something you wanted to change and he would, you know, leave you notes saying things like, hurry up and do these things. And uh, you felt this sense of urgency from him. Um, what was also wonderful about Tom was that on some level, uh, he showed the limits of the very kind of education that he most believed in. He is a progressive educator to the nth degree. He didn't believe in standing in the front of the room and just pontificating. And yet, uh, there were a lot of times when um, those of us in the room, and these were adult learners, uh, all of whom had been teachers for a, long, for a number of years, all of whom were studying to be administrators, and uh, a lot of us were just really content to have uh, to have uh, Tom tell us what to think, and we would think it. Um, and he was never willing to let us just live there. He really pushed us to think for ourselves and come up with our own ideas. But um, working with Tom and learning from Tom was amazing because um, it felt like he gave you language for ideas that you ha didn't even know you had. He gave you language for deeply held beliefs that suddenly could live in, in the air because he spoke those words into being. Um, we were studying one time, uh, talking about systems and structures and talking about how to build healthy systems in our schools. And he said, um, uh, you can legislate, uh, you can, excuse me, you can regulate the worst abuses out of a system, but you can never regulate goodness or excellence, because goodness and excellence comes from the hearts and minds of the people within the system. And the reason I can say that word for word is because literally uh, a group of 25 adults in a classroom all kind of stopped when he said that and busily jotted it down and compared notes with each other to make sure we got the quote correct. And um, that was like to be in his classroom. To be in his classroom was to feel like um, you could change the world and there was someone out there who wanted you to do so. And uh, that's what a great teacher can do.